Hi folks, my name is Mos for YouTube channel LockMaker360. In the previous video I explained how Python can communicate with the, the Raspberry Pi pins. And in this video I'm gonna connect a DHT11 sensor to the Raspberry Pi and read out the temperature value and show this uh, value inside. Uh, graphic. The purpose of this video is uh, to connect a sensor to the Raspberry Pi and the reason I chose the DHT is because it's a very famous sensor. You can uh, buy this uh, sensor almost everywhere and there are a lot of libraries out. But in general if you got a new sensor then the best way to Connected to the Raspberry Pi is to have a search online for a library. So I just typed in Google uh, Python libraries and DHT sensors and I got a match on this website and somebody put a library for this sensor on GitHub and all I have to do is I have to clone, I have to download this library with this command and after it is downloaded I have to install it. So uh, let's uh, rock and roll inside the terminal. The first command is uh, sudo apt-get update. Always uh, good practice to do this. That's uh, updating uh, the Jesse image and uh, update Python with this command. Confirm yes. And we're gonna get a download from this URL github.com. Adafruit, Adafruit, Python, and we clone this library inside this folder. And uh, after the download with the uh, ls, we uh, have a look inside the directory. This is the library we just have downloaded. Let's open the library, and uh, right here we, we call a, a Python script called setup, and we have to run this uh, script to install the library on the Raspberry Pi. And we do this with uh, the command uh, sudo python setup.py install. And that takes a while. It's installing. Now let's check out all the shell recognized uh, library. We open the python2 shell and uh, type in their uh, import adafruit dht and we get no errors so everything works smooth. I wrote a small python script to test the sensor and I import the library and I import another library called time and I made a endless loop because ALS will be always true so this loop is non-stop and I'm gonna read two values humidity and temperature from the sensor and on the Raspberry Pi on pin 4 and that's the GPIO pin which I, I explained in the previous video and that's uh, GPIO pin 4 or if you start counting from the upper left corner it's pin number 7 connected to the data this is uh, pin number 7 and it's connected to the signal and ground and volt and the volt is the 3.3 which is the first most left upper top one back in the script if python reads uh, normal sensor values then it will uh, print them and if not then it will print cannot connect to the sensor and then it sleeps for one I uh, tested the script and everything works as uh, expected. I updated the sketch to uh, save the incoming sensor values inside a CSV file and CSV stands for uh, comma separated values and in this uh, file I saved the time and the data on one line. And that works with uh, those three lines of code. So it is uh, stored inside a file called temp. And we can check this by uh, opening inside uh, the 
Jesse Image. Uh, onder Office. There is a program called Calc. And if we open this, it's like Excel from uh, Microsoft. Uh, we go to File, Open. And if we scroll down, then here we have our temp file. And if we open it, then we get our the in the E column, we get the temperature. And in the B column, we get the time. And I played a little bit around with uh, the sensor. I put a hot cup of tea close to it and I let cool it down and later on I put some cold water in the cup and you see that it's dropping then I remove the cup and it is uh, rising back so we get some variety in our uh, temperature data now we uh, got everything up and running and the uh, sensor values are flying in like uh, spaceships inside our Star Wars movie and I was thinking, wouldn't it be nice if we uh, display the temperature value inside a graphic? Well, the beauty of Python is that they have uh, libraries for almost everything. And a good library to display a graphic is uh, called the matplotlib. And of course, we run a Linux system. We can uh, easily uh, download this with this command line. So uh, let's uh, paste this one in the terminal and it starts downloading from yes. And congratulations, we got our new library installed. Uh, let's test it in the shell or everything is set up in the right way. Open Python and import matplotlib and everything looks smooth. And uh, with this uh, library, I uh, wrote a new uh, Python script and I import uh, the script and have it uh, running. And this uh, script is uh, making a graphic and here you can see the data. It was 19 degrees all the time and then I heat it up with the cup of tea and then it cools down and because the other script is still running. So I got the other uh, script still running. It's still updating the CSV file and I'm cooling down the sensor on this moment with some ice cubes. So you see a huge interaction in the live uh, graphic. Just for this video, I uh, turn down the update time from uh, 60 seconds to 6 seconds. And uh, because we have uh, two scripts running on the moment, we got a live update from this uh, graphic every uh, six seconds. I will put a link from all the code in the description of the video. Hope you like it. Uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm going to make another video about uh, Raspberry Pi and how you can interact with sensors with the uh, C language. Hopefully all this uh, terminal and command line nonsense wasn't too boring.